Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Welcome back to Ant Lives The Channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. Now, as I always say, I got your back. New subscribers, you're going to come to find out I got your back. The channel gang, you already know what time it is. I got your back. This right here is my 215th build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder, I am the best builder in the world, and I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen, and 215 builds only prove that fact. This right here is James Harden's exact build, balance score, he's a bad man, watch this, it's nice. Now, we're going to take this uh, skill breakdown pie chart, and this is going to be the majority of the blue, and then a little bit of the green for the skill breakdown. Now, this was this right here was particular to me because I wanted to find him. Can't get him here. I like that pie chart a little bit, and I couldn't really I couldn't get him here neither because I lost too much speed on him, so I didn't want him there, and he's at the point. So right here at the speed pie chart the speed with the vertical is perfect for him okay now what we're going to do we're going to go all the way up on his close shot then we're going to go all the way up on his driving layup then we're going to go all the way up on his driving dunk and that's going to be it that's going to give him 16 uh finishing badges now we're going to go up on his mid-range we're going to go all the way up on his three-pointer we're not going to put anything on his free throw, but then we're just going to bring his post fade to 73, okay? Now, we're going to bring his pass accuracy to 57. We're going to bring his ball handle all the way up. And then we're going to bring his post control all the way up. And that's going to give him seven playmaking badges. Now, if you, you know about James Harden, James Harden does make plays, but this is a, a scoring version of James Harden. He's looking to put that ball in the bucket, and that's what this build is going to do. Now, interior defense all the way up. We're going to go perimeter defense all the way up. We're going to go ladder quickness all the way up. We're going to bring it still up all the way as well. We're just going to bring his block to 37. All right. Now we're going to bring his offensive rebound all the way up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring that defensive rebound all the way up. So basically the bill was, what's that, uh, 16, 12, 30, 44 total badges on this build right here. All right. Now we're going to, what we're going to do, hmm. We're going to bring him to build. We're going to make him look a little something, you know. Now, we're going to bring him to 6'6", six, six, and then we're going to drop his weight to 198, all right? You go any low, lower, you will not get James Harden. Now, we're going to drop his weight to 198, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring his wingspan back, and we're, we're, we're going to put it right here at 78.9 for his wingspan. And you already know we got the 10. And what I mean by the 10 is that is the slasher takeover. If you are new to Ant Liza channel and this is maybe the first time you've seen one of my videos, the slasher takeover, as you already know, is the most important badge on the game. It is the OP badge of the game. But I'll tell you something else about the other takeovers. You can do all of them from the seat of your chair with your brain, with your controller in your hand. The only one you cannot duplicate. With, um, from the seat of your chair with the controller in your hand and with your brain is the slash and takeover. So I advise you guys, whenever you see the slash and takeover, take it because that's what's going to set your build apart from a lot of other builds. Now, at 99 overall, when your knight decides to take over, and anytime your knight decides to take over, you're going to get a 10 to your physicals. You're going to get a 10 to your finishing. You're going to get a 5 to your shooting. You're going to get a 10 to your ball handle. You're going to get a... a five to your pass accuracy or five to your post control and then you're going to get a five to your defense and rebounding categories as well all right but like i said when you ignite this uh slash to take over for this james harden exact balance score build at 99 overall it's basically lights out it's game time now at, um at 99 overall you're going to have a close shot of 89 and when you ignite the slash to take over that will be a 99 then you're going to have a driving layup of 91 and when you ignite the slash to take over 99 overall that will be, ooh, that'll go over the cap. Matter of fact, I am so, let me make, make sure, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, you'll have a, that's crazy. I had to look at that, hold on. Now, you're going to have a driving layup of 91, and when your night decides to take over, that goes over the cap of uh, 99 and will be 101. Now, you're going to have a driving dunk of 83, so this bill will get you uh, 
Kobe Bryant's dunk package as well. And when you and Knight decides to take over a 99 overall, that will be a 93. So he's going to finish strong at the hole for you. Now, you're going to have a mid-range shot of 85, so you know you're going to hit that three ball. I mean, that mid-range shot, that mini is yours all day long. Now, and when your knight decides to take over a 99 overall, that mid-range will be a 90. Now, you're going to have a three-pointer of uh, 83 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to slash to take over, that will be an 88. So, he's lights out from the three-point line. You know he's consistent at that three-point line. And then we have the fadeaway jump shot. And they call it the post-fade, but it's the fadeaway jump shot. Check out my fadeaway tutorial. I'm loving the feedback that I'm getting from you guys telling me that the fadeaway tutorial has helped you change your game. I told you you would love it. And I'm telling you guys, if you're new to the channel, check that out. If this for any of your other builds that may have a, a high post fade shot, I show you how to shoot the fadeaway jump shot off of the dribble where it's going to fall for you. You can speed boost and hit the fadeaway. You can do anything you want to do with that fadeaway jump shot. And you're going to be able to hit it inside the three-point line, anywhere inside the three-point line, from the low post to the high post. Anywhere outside of the box, you're going to be able to hit that um, fadeaway jumper. Now, and, and it's called Fadeaway Tutorial. Learn how to shoot fadeaways like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Go check it out. Now, you're going to have, a, uh, like I said, your post fade will be a 78. And at 99 overall, when your knight decides to take over, that will be an 83. Now, you're going to have a pass accuracy of 60. So this basically, this is a demigod build because you're going to be able to sometimes, sometimes, I can't say legitimately, but sometimes you might be able to sneak in a triple-double here and there. But this is a demigod build regardless. Now, um, at 99 overall, when your knight um, slides to take over, their pass accuracy will be a 65. Now, you're going to be able to speed boost with this um, build as well because... You're going to be a dribble guard at 99 overall because you're going to have an 81 ball handle. And when you ignite the slash to take over, that's going to be a 91. Now, you're still going to be able to uh, speed boost once you get 80 speed. And if you have even a 70 ball handle on this build, you're going to be able to speed boost whenever you ignite the slash to take over. But this build is, does have speed boosting capabilities at 6'6". Six, six, so this this is a bad boy right here. You're going to be able to dance on him with this build. You're going to be hard cover. Guaranteed that. Now... Your post control will be a 73 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 78. Now, you're going to have an interior defense of 56 and 99 overall. So, surprisingly, that block is going to show up because you've got an interior defense. So, you're going to be able to get steals in the low post as well. So, ball stripper will be a good badge if you wanted to use it on this because that interior defense comes ball stripper and that will combinate for you. Now, you're going to have an interior defense of 56 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, over, that will be a 61. That's nice. Now, your perimeter defense will be a 78, and when your knight decides to take over, that will be a um, 83. Then you're going to have a lot of quickness of 76, and when your knight decides to take over, that will be an 81. Now, you're going to have a still a 77 and 99 overall, and when your knight decides to slash the takeover, that will be an 82. So, like I said, once 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 your knight decides to take over and 99 overall, He's a pickpocket. He's a guaranteed pickpocket as well. So you, you, this build is very dependable. I like this build a lot. It's solid. I like it a lot. It's solid all the way around the board. All the numbers, all of the stats, they all are adding up. And then, of course, now you're going to have a block of 42 at 99. I mean, a 43 at 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 48. And we already know, the channel members already, already know, you can have one bronze badge on Chase Down, and you're going to get the... You're gonna get the um, Effects you're going to see that animations out of the build because the badge is there because assistant defense is so high by the computer this year it, it literally helps you play defense now when you like I said when you're not decides to take over that blocks gonna be a 48 now your office rebound will be a 35 at 99 overall and when you're not decides to take over that's going to be a 40 then you're going to have a defensive rebound of 67 and when you're not decides to take over that's going to be a 72 so like i said this build can get you triple doubles from time to time but you're going to know how to have to hit those angles and get those uh triple doubles now the juicy part is the physicals because we all know it's four ways to get the fours and that is um the gatorade facility the nba championship uh, getting to level 40 and then of course we all know 99 overall and that's how we get the fourth now and 99 overall you're going to have a, ver a speed of 90 an acceleration of 90 a vertical of 80 and then you're going to have a strength of 61 hmm in, I mean of, of not 61 I'm sorry of 59 okay so he's going to be able to get in that hole and do something he's strong for that's strong for a guard 
Now, once you ignite that slasher takeover, your speed and your vertical both go over the cap of 99 and will be 100. Your vertical will be 90, and then your strength will be 69. Enough said, this is a bad 6-6 six, six point guard right here. It's going to be a hard cover. I don't know. You're going to do a lot of damage with him because of the ball handling. You're going to be able to work him off that dribble. Man, they're not going to like this one right here. They're not going to like this bounce. This is James Harden's exact build for bounce score. Well, I'm looking at all the numbers. It's nasty. All right. Now, of course, we got the slasher takeover. Like I said, you could do this takeover shot create from the, that's nothing but the R3 stick. You can do that from the seat of your chair. You can go find the spots to spot up from the seat of your chair, and then you can lock down from the seat of your chair because that's nothing but L2 and up on the shot stick on the perimeter, right? And play in passing lanes and press the square to steal the ball. But this is you can't do. You cannot duplicate this takeover right here. That's why I know it's the most important badge on the game. If anybody was to tell you to take any other badge down here and you did it, you're really going to limit your Bills' potential off, uh, offensive uh, potential. This right here is what's going to make the build the best it can be. A slash a takeover. And there you have it. James Harden's exact build for balanced score. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you know I got your back. This is 215 right here. Trust me, 16 to 17 are coming today. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this build. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you why I placed the badges if I was to use this build. Yeah, I like him a lot. I visualize in James Harden's game. This is him right here all day. Now, we got 16, right? We'll make them unstrippable, of course. We'll go limitless takeoff. We'll go fearless finisher. And then slithery finisher, for sure. This bad man. Uh-oh. Woo! James Harden. All right. Now, I'm going to show you real percentage shoes away because that's what I use. You guys use shot timing. Of course, I know you guys know where to go. You also know where to go. I'm going to show you how I do it because I use a uh, real shooter player percentage. I'm going to go uh, Lucky 7, Hot Zone Hunter, catch and shoot. Now, he does have a ball handle, so I could go uh, stop and pop. But I'm going to go with Fade Ace because I have that fade away jump shot. And I'm going to utilize it. I said, Like I said, I'm, I'm going to show you why I would place the badges. You guys, I know a lot of you guys want to go to stop and pop. But I'm going to go to fade eights because I know how to use that shot. All right. Now I got seven playmaking. Where are we at? Unpluckable, of course. Ooh. Now this is, uh, we got to have that speed. We got to go quick first step. We're going to be, we're going to make our quick first step faster than our overall downhill speed right here. So that's what's going to help you on that ball handle. And then dribble chain. Hmm. Yeah, dribble chain for sure. All right, now I got seven, right? Now, I'm going to put one on Chase Down Arch because I want to get that because I got an 80 vertical. And I'm going to get that block regardless, even without the 80 vertical. But I'm going to get the animation. But I want to utilize every part of the build, right? So I'm going to go to Chase Down Block because I'm going to get blocks. All right? Now, of course, Intimidator. I'm going to play out on that perimeter a little bit. All right? And that's going to help me on that block. Now... I do have a rebound, so I go rebound chaser, and then I got one more, right? And I'm going to go with, like I said earlier, I'm going to go with ball stripper. I, let me make sure. Yeah, I'm going to go with ball stripper because I know that just because of the fact that I got interior defense, the ball stripper is going to work for me when anybody tries to penetrate through the hole. That's what, that's what the interior defense of the build is showing me. Like, okay, I got a high steal, and I got a high interior defense. I know that ball strippers and still go coincide with the build. So that's basketball knowledge, and that is basketball IQ, and you're only going to get it here at Analyze the Channel. Trust me, I got y'all's back. Now that's it right there, and there you have it. James Harden's exact build, balance score, you're only going to find here at Antlines the Channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on my daily builds. And as I always say, I got your back. 
the channel game, you know I got your back. This is 215 builds right here for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the O'Head Gold Builder. I am the best builder in the world, and I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen, and 215 builds prove that fact. And without anything further being said, I'm